here we are in the simulation environment and uh, go to this separator step choose this first one that is the flash separator right click now the material streams now we have to specify the feet the temperature and pressure of the feet double click on this so as you double click on this you can click on this next button as well to get to this so the temperature of the feet is 70 degrees celsius the pressure is 2 bars the total molar flow rate is 100 kilo mole per hour the mole fraction of benzene and toluene is equals uh, equals to 0.5 now we are done with this feed material streams feed material stream let me close this the next thing uh, is to specify the specifications for this flash unit double click on this so we can specify the flash either using temperature and pressure using duty and vapor fraction as well i don't know the duty i don't know the vapor fraction but i am interested in finding out the temperature so for initializing our case i am going to go with this temperature and pressure specification type and uh, let's say that uh, the temperature of our system is 47 because we figured out from this uh, txy diagram that temperature is somewhere between 47.5 and 50 where we will get a desired benzene uh, mole fraction in vapor phase so the pressure is 150 mm at Another perk of this video is that we are going to use design specification or design spec tool available in Aspen Plus to calculate the op, uh, to calculate to calculate the exact temperature at which we will get the desired vapor phase composition that is 0.654 benzene. Let us run this and see what are the mole fractions of two components in the vapor phase. Quickly check out the stream summary. Go to this mole fractions and see that at 47 degrees Celsius we are getting the benzene equals to 0.69381. That's the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor phase. But we want to get 0.65. It means that temperature should be varied. And how are we uh, how we are gonna do this? We are going to use design specifications so design spec tool aka so let's go to this design specification tool expand this negotiating options the first one is design specs click on this select a new one let it be default now we are the in in the input environment of ds1 that is the design spec one so we have to here in this define tab we are supposed to provide the s pin what variable we are interested in or what will be the specification variable for example in this in this uh, tutorial or in this simulation we want a specific value for the uh, vapor phase composition of benzene that is 0.65 it's mean that in define tab we have to specify the mole fraction variable of benzene in the vapor phase so for that click on this new variable name i will call this as mole b the category will be stream type will be mole fraction yes here it is mole fraction stream is v the component is benzene so we have defined our spec variable the next tab is spec where we have to 
specify the actual value we want to get. Uh, demonstration purpose I am going to use it 1 exponent minus 4 now the value tab as I stated that we are going to vary the temperature so temperature the block variable that is the block variable for uh, flash unit will be specified here and we will specify the upper and lower bound of temperature as well type will be uh, here it is block variable the block is we have just a single block in our simulation that is flash variable is temperature and units are defaulted by degree Celsius so the lower bound we are at 47 make sure that the initialization value of this very variable should be in between the lower and upper bound so for lower bound I'm going to use 45 and for upper bound I'm going to use uh, you can say uh, 50 because the uh, the value of temperature we figured out from TXY diagram is something between 47.5 and 50 the upper bound is 50 degrees Celsius step size you can specify it can be 0 0.5 and now let us reinitialize this simulation uh, Okay, okay, now run. So we have got the results. Let us quickly get the results of this design spec. Yes, so when we have initially, when we have 47 degrees Celsius temperature of flash unit the mole fraction of benzene in the vapor phase was 0.69381 but to get the desired value of 0.65 aspin plus uh, tells us that the temperature of the unit should be 48.2673 or you can say 48.3 degrees celsius so in this way we have calculated the temperature that should be 48.2673 now we will uh, have a look on the liquid phase composition as well For that, you can uh, go to the stream summary. Here are the mole fractions. So, the for benzene, uh, the liquid phase mole fraction of benzene is 0 0.3849, and the toluene mole fraction is this. We have calculated the temperature. Of the unit that is 48.2 something and uh, the liquid phase mole fractions of benzene and toluene you can verify these results uh, using simple analytical calculation uh, for dew point temperature that we usually do in chemical engineering thermodynamics courses I hope that you will like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, give me some recommendations suggestions in the comment section below Till then, it's coming.